huge life for the guy. He's a celebration of his career, a celebration of his personality. He's got over 500 people here all wanting to say thank you for your commitment to your country, to Harlequins. To me on a personal level, it's great to be here for Daddy. He's, he's, he's officially made it, I think. Um, he's wearing a lovely little velvet number tonight as well, which is, uh, yeah, he's looking sharp to be fair to him. So no, it's cool, it's cool to be here and um, I'm sure it'll be a great night. I said, what are you doing? He said, sit down. This is before dinner. He said, make sure you sit down in your seat, go do it. It'll be right up your street. I was like, what is he going on about here? What is he going on? Sit down. They come out, they perform. I'm like, I've got hairs on the back of my neck. Like, I'm like, oh, this is nice. And then he comes out and gives it the big one. anyone else did that, they'd get a lot of stick, because it's him. He somehow gets away with all this cheesiness. He's fought back from incredible things. He broke his leg before the Under-19 World Cup. Uh, he missed out on World Cups, he missed out on Lions tours, but he's always fought back. He's got a real competitive spirit in him, so he's a pretty special bloke. I got to be around with him at Quinn's when he was at his absolute height. And I, I still think that he's still got more to give. I mean, he's, he's a very, very unique talent. And I think English rugby have been very lucky. Harlequin's rugby have been very lucky. And I was very fortunate to know him as a person.